Hi, my name is Freddy Hong. I'm a PhD student at Imperial College London. Today I'm presenting our paper Thermoform Circuit Boards, aka TCB, fabrication of a highly conductive freeform 3D printed circuit board with a heat bending. This work has been co-authored and supervised by Dr. Conor Meant and Dr. David Boyle. TCB is a new personal fabrication technique for constructing Freeform electronics with an arbitrary form vectors that are challenging to construct using traditional digital fabrication tools. TCB supports double-sided circuit layout, providing the designers a higher degree of design freedom for their circuit arrangement. TCB is also copper electroplated and highly conductive and can support high power applications such as the hardwire form cutters. It can also be mechanically fixed to various objects and existing commercial electrical components. In our research, we found that high fidelity techniques such as multi interconnect devices and multi axis server ink based machines were out of reach for most individuals due to the cost and complexities involved. And for more user in the loop approaches, the products were often limited in application due to their restrictions to single side circuit, in addition to the extensive manual effort required in the manufacturing process. We wanted to develop a method that had a similar look and feel and performances of the multi-interconnect devices and yet manufacturable with accessible desktop equipment. Therefore, aiming to expand the capabilities of personal fabrication for constructing freeform electronics, whilst also trying to establish an immediately employable technique, we found our motivations for developing TCB. Developing this technique from the designer's perspective, we wanted to want a method that was economical, commercially available and convenient to construct whilst also being highly functional. We therefore decided to use a conductive PLA on an open source FDM 3D printer which is owned by many individual hobbyists and designers already. Also, it is economical to use and easy to program. Current problem with the 3D printing interactive objects using conductive PLA is that the resistance of the printed trays is too high that is only useful for lighting LEDs or constructing capacitive sensors. F furthermore, due to the inherent characteristic of the layer-by-layer -layer construction of additive manufacturing, the resistance of the printed trays differ for every angle. The resistance of printed trays for vertical direction is at least seven times higher than the trays for horizontal directions. This severely limits the design freedom of 3D printed electronic beyond the XY plane. As shown in the two samples, the layer structure between the point A, B and C differs significantly for the planar construction in comparison to the thermoform sample. This motivated us to develop a method of thermoforming flat 3D printed trays into 3D object, which can maintain the same layer structure for inclining angles and hence provide more consistent finish and resistance across all area of the surface. The two illustrations here show the difference in the layer structure between the thermoform trays and traditionally constructed trays. We first tested the feasibility of the thermoforming conductive trays on LED circuit. We first printed a flat double-sided circuit board on our open source 3D printer, then heat bent it to the shape as shown on the right image. After shaping it to the desired form, we then copper electroplate the board using a commercially available copper electric plating kit. Then we adhere the electrical component using conductive silver ink and superglue. We were able to 3D print the trays at thin as 0.5mm, thermoformed it and copper electroplated it. We used the hot air blowers to heat up the PLA and bend it to the shape. As seen in this video, due to the low glass transitional temperature of the PLA, which is below 60 degrees, the PLA became compliant to thermoforming very quickly. This is a straightforward and convenient process where the user can utilize the intuition and make alteration to the shape in a real-time feedback. To design TCB, we developed a parametric design editor within a common computer-aided design software called Rhino and Grasshopper. In, the, in this design editor, the user can use the points on the surface to draw the interconnect, locate bias, and socket and electric components. At any point during the design process, the user can adjust the width and the height of the conductive trays by ad adjusting the values on the slider. At the end, the user can bake the geometry and export it to 3D printing slicer. Using this technique, we are able to fabricate various freeform circuit boards that are double-sided and highly conductive. You can find more information about our work and the literature in the paper, now archived, archived in ACM's digital library. Thank you.